I don't care what they tell you in school. Hi everyone and welcome. Netflix recently have been promoting the series Queen Cleopatra. As a history channel on YouTube, we couldn't help but notice some serious inaccuracies in the portrayal of the iconic figure. In this video, we'll be discussing why it's important to respect the historical records and why sensationalizing history does a disservice to the future generations. But before we dive into the inaccuracies of Queen Cleopatra, please consider subscribing to our channel to support our content. We appreciate your support. Cleopatra was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which ruled Egypt from 305 BC to 30 BC. She was born in Alexandria, Egypt in 69 BC and was a direct descendant of Ptolemy I, one of Alexander the Great generals, who became the first pharaoh of the Ptolemaic dynasty. It's important to note that although she was born in Egypt, Cleopatra was of fully Greek descent. Her family, like many of the ruling class in Egypt at the time, had married into her own family as a rule, which means that she was descended of Ptolemy I from both her mother's side as well as her father's side. That way, the nobility kept the bloodline separated from the common Egyptian people, which were closely related to Semitic peoples, similar to Arabs and nowadays Egyptians. Greek was actually the language spoken by the elites in Alexandria, and Cleopatra herself is considered one of the few in her family to try to learn the Egyptian language, but of course, Greek was her mother tongue. Cleopatra's name is of Greek origin and is composed of two words in Greek, Cleos and Patra. Cleos meaning glory and Patra meaning father, so her name actually means glory of the father. There is a number of Cleopatras in the Ptolemaic dynasty, the most famous one is the seventh one which had a relation with Caesar and later with Mark Antony and participated in the civil war against Augustus Octavian. She came to the throne at the age of 18 after the death of her father Ptolemy XII. Several depictions of her survived, like coins, statues and others, including a statue done during her visit to Rome in 44-46 BC, which is on the Altes Museum in Berlin, Germany, and on it she displays clear European traits. It is important to understand that Cleopatra's ethnicity is subject of historical record and there is no evidence to suggest that she was black. She was of Greek origin and essentially European in appearance. There is no debate about it among historians and archaeologists. Historical accuracy is a key component of our knowledge of the past and without it, the past becomes nothing more than a lie that should be taken into consideration. While some politically motivated people argue that Cleopatra should be portrayed as black, it is important to remember that lies and fake history only increase our ignorance. Cleopatra's Greek heritage was a fundamental part of her identity and her story. She was a powerful woman with a fascinating history. But tell the truth is not enough. Netflix wants to destroy history and twist our knowledge to the point where we don't know anymore what is true and what is not. Only what they tell us is the truth. That's why it's important for them to tell lies call this show a documentary. Because when we accept their lies, they control us. Changing Cleopatra's ethnicity is a distortion of history. And this only can lead to further misunderstandings of the past. History can be rewritten as long as new evidence are found. For example, Troy used to be a mythological city until Henrik Schliemann, a history enthusiast, found the real city and the evidence supported his claim, and it became a historical fact and the site he found is widely recognized. He did not find everything the way he wanted the things to be, but he found evidence, and this changed the scientific view of the War of Troy. We need to keep an open mind and be open to what the evidence presents. If you like or don't, it's not important, the evidence are. The creators of the show have claimed that they want to bring diversity to history. In this way, have their own version of history presented, not what actually happened, or in simple terms, lie to you. It is important to portray historical figures more closely to the truth as we can, because without it, we simply don't understand our past. 
The repercussion against Netflix misinformation so big that an Egyptian lawyer created a lawsuit against Netflix to ban the show. Also, the Egyptian government also criticized the show by calling it blackwashing history. And the most well-known Egyptologist nowadays, Dr. Zahi Hawais, also published an article criticizing Netflix for what he calls falsifying history. The portrayal of Cleopatra as a black woman in Queen Cleopatra is not only historically inaccurate, but also disrespectful to the actual historical figure. It erases her Greek heritage and also the complexity of her story. In conclusion, this show is not historically accurate and takes liberties with historical events and people, and at a minimum should not be called a documentary. It is important to strive for accuracy and do not tell lies when dealing with history. Historical accuracy is important. Truth is important. Without truth, there is no history, and without history, we are condemned to repeat our mistakes of the past. Thank you for watching. Tibi gratis ago, pro vigilago.